What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ow, that clap hurt. <laughs> Today, we have what I think is the nicest side charging bufferless AR pistol system out there. There's a lot of really nice ones, don't get me wrong. This is definitely one of the nicest I've seen. It's from CMMG and it is called the Descent. Now, a lot of different options when you get this one. I wanted a really, really short boy. Uh, it's available in 6.5 inch barrel, 10.5 or uh, 16 inches. And I know 6.5 and 5.56 is not the most logical choice, but I want something stupid small that I could fold up and put in a bag and yeah, just something really, really small if I ever needed it. Uh, as far as mags, you can get it to take Glock mags, Sig mags if you want something in 9mm. You can also get it to take, this takes a standard AR-15 mag if you want 5.56. It also takes that really cool CMMG mag that holds a 9mm round. Really cool. If you haven't seen it, it's on the CMG website. They did a good job with that. Calibers is 5.56, 9mm, 300 black, and 5.7. And then as far as colors, you have a bunch of different colors. CMMG has a big Cerakote shop. This is some silver, gray, whatever. I'll put it up on the screen. I love this color. That's why I went with this one. But you have a ton of colors to choose from. So that's the basic layout of the descent but now let's get into this specific one now the brace i know braces are a hot topic right now i am recording this on may 18th these things are not legal yet to, uh, illegal till june 1st not that i care but atf boys at the time i'm making this all of the shooting i did with this was all during the time it was legal and of course i will get rid of it good Christian boy like me would never ever break the law. The back of the uh, brace here, that's a standard Picatinny rail. So whatever brace stock thing you wanna put on here, it's a standard pick rail, easy to do, no problems there. The grip, standard CMMG MMG grip, it's okay. That's probably one of the few things on the gun that I wouldn't give an A++ to is the grip. I don't love the texture. Um, it's a standard AR grip so you can swap it out. I like that it has a compartment in the grip so I can store my gummy bears in there in case I need a quick range snack. Um, the controls are great. I love the controls that uh, CMMG went with. The mag release is Ambi, which I am always a big fan of. The bolt catch bolt release is uh, not ambient, it's, it's left side only, but it is oversized and it's very, very easy to press. Your safety is ambi, but on the other side of the gun, it's a little smaller. On the right side of the gun for your rays, it's a little bit smaller, which I like because it doesn't dig in my finger and get in the way. It's also a short throw safety, so uh, I love the safety. The safety is really, really nice. Now probably the nicest thing on this gun is going to be the trigger, or one of the nicest things on this gun is going to be the trigger. But before we get into the trigger, I do have a sponsor of the video, and it's a freaking flamethrower, man. This thing makes me feel like a Mandalorian. Um, Pulse Fire is trying to bring high quality flamethrowers to the world at a more affordable price. Flamethrowers are either like the dirt cheap ones, a junk. The nice ones are super, super expensive. This one's a couple hundred bucks. I forgot, I'll put it up on the screen. And it's actually really, really nice. They have little things like a kickstand here. So when you fill it up, the gas tank's level. Like, you know, they have a lot of really nice things like that. Takes a rechargeable battery pack, takes a quarter gallon of gas, has a safety, kill, two safety kill switches on it. The best thing about it though, it comes with an adapter to hook to a Picatinny rail. So if you have a quad rail or if you put a pick rail underneath your rifle, you take this handle off and you suck it up right under the barrel on a rifle. Now, I've used this in this configuration. I haven't used it under a rifle yet. Shame on me, I will. A bunch of my friends went out and we played with it. Man, it is so much fun. I've always wanted a flamethrower. I finally have one. Very, very awesome. Um, I saw a discount code on the Pulse Fire website when I was doing a little research. It was ACC20. And that gets you 20% off accessories if you buy it with the flamethrower. So you have to buy a flamethrower. And then if you buy any extra accessories, like extra batteries or anything, you get 20% off. All right. Back to the star of the show, which is the CMMG Descent. And we are going to talk about the trigger. One of the nicest triggers, period. There is like no take up, super crisp wall, very tactile, very audible. I mean, the trigger is fire. The reset is short. Again, it's very tactile, you feel it. I mean, the trigger is sensational. I'm not exaggerating. The trigger is really, really nice. Um, what we always do at this time is we take a 10 second break. I like you to be able to get up close and personal and see and smell and taste and, and feel the trigger up close and personal. And uh, we're gonna do that and I'll be back in 10 seconds.
As we say in the Northeast, that trigger is wicked pissa. No, we actually don't say that, but anyway, the upper and lower standard aluminum, nothing crazy there. Like I said, this is a AR version, so it takes a standard AR mag. I have no idea why I opened it. We are not getting into that yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, the handguard. Um, six and a half inch barrel, so it's a very, very short handguard. It is a free float handguard, and the lockup is insanely tight. Whatever system they use, I didn't take it apart, but the lockup is really good. So if you are going to use some sort of small laser aiming device on here, I wouldn't be worried about it holding your zero. You have two M lock slots on both sides. You have another one on the bottom, and built into the handguard, it has a little stop, which is good because in these really short guns, the last thing you want to do is put your hand out there in front of the muzzle that would just be a bad, bad day. Um, the charging handle is very nice as well. It is reversible for you weird backwards lefty people. It's not reciprocating, which is good because if this thing had a reciprocating charging, charging handle, it would absolutely ruin this awesome, awesome gun. Uh, the barrel, again, this one is six and a half inches. You can get them 10 and a half or 16. It is a 4140 material, which is okay. A lot of barrels are 4150. That's probably the more common material, but 4140 is okay. It has a salt bath nitrite finish. Nitrite finishes are great. I think they're underappreciated. Some people always want chrome and, and FOSS, which is great, but nitrite is uh, very, very accurate, very durable, very affordable. It impregnates the material. Nitrite finish in a barrel is definitely a good thing. Don't knock it. Your threads are standard, a half by 28, which is great because a little six and a half inch barrel like this is ideal to putting on a suppressor. You put a good suppressor on this little gun, man, what a perfect little setup you have. Uh, CMMG calls this muzzle device their blast muzzle device. It's great. I like it. No issues, no problems. I wouldn't be changing it unless I was putting on a uh, uh, suppressor or something like that. All right. The other thing I, I want to say before I forget, before we field strip this bad boy, is it does have a lifetime warranty as well, which is great. Pick rail goes all the way across the top hand guard and the upper. I forgot to mention that. And I think I got everything here. So field stripping the gun, you just pop the rear pin. And the cool thing about it is it's one of the easiest bufferless systems to take apart. We're just going to pull back on the charging handle and the whole uh, buffer system, shorty BCG, everything is self-contained into one little piece. And this is all you have to worry about. Your uh, bolt and your cam pin, I believe, are standard. Uh, AF-15 accessories, obviously the carrier is not, it's a shorty, it has the uh, recoil system built into it as well, but this is it. Very, very dirty right now, covered in gun butter, of course, but uh, the system itself is high quality and uh, very, very easy to take apart, clean, field strip, anything like that. I don't recall the material of the carrier in the bolt. Um, I didn't look that up, I apologize. I'll see if I can get that information and put it up here on the screen for you. All right, you can take a look at the dimensions. The dimensions are not including the brace, so you know. The dimensions, the weight, the price. The price is gonna be all over the place depending, because there's so many different calibers and barrel lengths and accessories and whatever, the price ranges quite a bit, but I'll put the price range up on the screen just so you know. Uh, I don't know if I don't know how many affiliate links I can find for you guys, but I will put the links down there. Hopefully, as always, I can find you a good deal. Now, testing, 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 testing was very, very fun. I went to the range five, six, seven times with it. Easily put those 500 rounds through it. I always start with doing one ups. Uh, from the high ready, from the low ready, things like that. I think it's a great way to get comfortable with the new gun, especially one as short as this. I don't shoot really short. Uh, 5.56 five, AR pistols very often, not quite this short. Anyway, I usually don't go below 10 or 11 inch barrel, but it was very fun. Uh, of course, we did a lot of magazine exchanges. That's just a great, easy, basic drill to get used to the controls, get used to the gun, stuff like that. Uh, next up on the list, I broke out my timer and did a lot of work with the timer, just seeing how quick I can get hits on target. Did some more magazine exchanges. I let several of my buddies shoot it just to see what they thought, get uh, other people's opinion as always, and nobody really had anything bad to say about it. I did uh, do some shooting with the brace closed, of, cl cl of course. It would have been a lot nicer if I had a one-point sling on here to use as tension, but I didn't have one handy with me, so... Uh, sorry about that. And then the rest of the time it was just plinking, shooting steel, multiple targets, did a little bit of running and gunning, the usual fun, fun stuff that I like to do at the range. All right, based off all that, the, my favorite 
things about the gun, the pros about the gun. I love the controls. I think CMMG did a great job with the controls. A lot of them are ambi, uh, good size, good shape, good texture. The controls are really nice. I like the charging handle, the shape, the size, the location, not reciprocating, reversible. Everything about the, the charging handle is good. The setup for your brace or stock, if you choose to put one on here, is very, very nice. I like this one a lot because it's, you know, you can fold it, very, very small. Compact, um, all the different options they give you, all the different barrel lengths I've mentioned, the different calibers, the different colors. You can really customize the gun, which is great. Lifetime warranty is awesome. And then that trigger, I left the trigger for the end on purpose. It is a really, really nice trigger. CMMG did a great job choosing that trigger. It just, trigger's awesome. I have no cons. I could not think of a con. I tried really, really hard. I hate when I have a gun with no cons. It's gonna be something I don't love. Hey, the grip. I don't love the grip. The grip's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm being nitpicky, but um, that's probably one of the few things I would change on this gun if it was mine. It's probably the grip, and yeah, that's absolutely it. Um, the one thing I wanna warn you or give you a heads up about, accessorizing these really, really small guns can be very difficult. Not just this gun, any really, really small gun, figuring out where you wanna put lights and lasers and what optics and all that stuff can be a little bit harder. I went with the primary arm Cyclops prism optic. Um, these things are just like bulletproof, end of the world proof. It has an etched reticle, which I like, cause I always leave my batteries on and my batteries die. And uh, I love, love, love this little optic. Uh, as far as the light, I, I wanted to go with a Surefire Streamlight, a cloud, I love cloud lights, but they don't play well with really, really small guns. I thought about putting an Enforce on top, but what I went with was an HRT AWLS. And uh, super small, the mount is built into it, and then it has like this joystick on the back, and I love the way the joystick feels. It's just, it it's good on a big rifle, it's great on a small rifle. So that was the accessories I went with, and this thing really, really needs a single point sling. If you're gonna get one, get a single point sling. All right, overall, uh, as of right now, I think this is one of the nicest uh, bufferless systems out on the market that you can get. There's other good ones, don't get me wrong, but this is one of, hands down, the nicest AR pistol bufferless system out there. If you're looking for something like it, no doubt this should absolutely be on your list. All right, let me thank the sponsor of the video, Pulse Fire. Freaking, I have a, now I have a flamethrower and I feel like the Mandalorian and that is just so cool even though my hands smell like gas now, that's okay. Uh, affiliate links for the gun and for the flamethrower are down in the video description if you wanna pick either one of them up. Hopefully I can find you a good deal. We have swag if you wanna support the channel. We have shirts, we have patches, they're soft, they're sexy, they look good, they fit good, they make you look so damn handsome or pretty or whatever it is you want to be called. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. It is truly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. If you don't do any of those things, Santa is not going to bring you a flamethrower and you'll be sad and you'll cry Christmas morning and your kids will make fun of you and that'd be bad. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.